Big credit. <laughs> Yay! All right. So um, again, uh, I made four parameters, width, depth, and height, and ply. Um, we are going to, in general, I try and lay out as many parameters that I know I'm going to use at the beginning, um, but it doesn't matter when you make them. You can add, subtract, however you want. All right, so I'm going to click over here on the front. So let's go back here. Let's say that's what we were. I'm going to click on the front because I'm going to just do this. And you can do this any way you want. I'm just doing it my way. Um, there are a million ways to do it. Clicking on the front, then I'm going to click over here and I'm going to say, um, uh, uh create a sketch so i'm clicking here i'm going to create a sketch on the front plane and then i'm just going to do a rectangle um so i i would normally just type the letter r for rectangle but i'm showing you how to do it um so rectangle i'm going to click here i'm going to go up and i'm going to say height with how high it is and then this is good. okay so now what we have is we have a rectangle that is height by width, I hit return again, and now it actually goes in. You'll notice that there's a blue thing here, which means it's actually an enclosed um, form. Um, if I went, well, okay, so it's an enclosed form. So this is essentially the back as it is right now. Um, then I'm going to say, um, I'm gonna do um, another rectangle. And again, I'm just making this super simple so that um, you can see how it's done. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go from this corner here. Create rectangle. I'm going to click on that corner there. I'm going to click down to here. And you see how it's, it was, you see how it's got um, some numbers are moving around. And then as soon as I mm -hmm. click here, now you look, it says 33, which is the height, which you know from the it says fx is 33. So we know that that number is a function. In other words, it's right. a parameter. Um, so they match. But you should also notice that the actual um, mouse, uh, once it hits, it turns and it gets to this kind of crazy sideways x as opposed to a plus sign. And that just means it's locked onto something. Okay. So now. Okay. We've got two parameters. We've got the 33. I'm going to hit the tab, and you see on the top how it says 2.054. I'm going to put the word mm -hmm. ply in there. Okay. So now what we have is we have a plywood strip that's going around this side here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say um, R. Click here. Same thing. Hit a tab. Hit ply. Boom. So you could do this a million different ways, but this is just really keeping it simple. And then I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to click here. Click here. And then I'm going to say apply. So now what we have is we have a very simple thing. I'm going to say finish sketch. Very first thing I do once I finish the sketch is I come over here, I right click and I rename it. Why am I renaming it? I always like to know what so my sketch is. It. <laughs> front doesn't mean anything to me. So I'm just going to say um, front. And that's not very descriptive, but at least it's something, right? So front. So now what we have is, and this is, I'm, I'm doing this because I want you to understand sort of like spatially how this works. So you see the front here, if I move this around, right, it's moving, however. So what I want to do is I actually want to make this whole thing here, the back, and then I want to make this the left side, this the right side, and then this the top, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, okay. uh, reorient here, I'm going to say extrude, I'm going to just click this one, and then this one, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to extrude it, the depth. And now you see these things, they just pop out. Okay? It's coming. And they're showing here, you can see it says 20. So it's already translating the depth of 20. So I'm just going to say uh, what I did is I did, it starts at the profile plane. It's on one side is the direction, the distance, we're doing a distance. The distance is going to be y, or sorry, it's going to be depth. 
and then I want to make new body. So I'm going to say okay after I make after I say okay. Two bodies are here. The sketch disappears, which is annoying. Um, but now I'm going to open this up. Open this up. I'm going to click on body one, and I'm going to call it side left. You can't have spaces. I never use capitals. Um, you can do whatever you want. Side, right. Okay. Um, and so now we have the left side and we have the right side. We're going to turn these off for right now. We don't want to see them. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to say extrude, which is, sorry, I, I did not show you how to do that. Um, where's the E? Create extrude. Okay. Sorry. I just. I do it all the time. I just. But we did it with the cutting board. Yes, we did. Okay, so we're just doing the same thing. It's just instead of a cutting board, we're making depth. Okay, I'm going to select mm -hmm. all this. So I'm going to drag and drop. Now I am, because those went in front, I'm going to say negative ply because I want it to be the width of the plywood. Okay. And now, and I'm going to look at this, and this is going to be the back. Okay. Then. Oops, I did that wrong. Now watch this. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to click on this guy. I'm going to say, edit the feature. I didn't actually want this top section. So all I got to do is see how it says six profiles. So I'm going to click this. So it goes to five. I'm going to click this. It goes to four. This. And it goes to three. So it's just this, this, and that there. Say, okay. okay. We're, it's still called back. It's just instead of it being that. Way. Then what I'm going to do, and this is kind of a tricky thing, uh, not the same. So now we're going to we're going to extrude. Letter E. We're going to extrude here, here, and here. And uh, just for giggles, this is wrong, but just for giggles, I'm going to say depth also. I want it to be a new body. And I'm going to say pop. Okay, it's a new body. I'm gonna name it. now. What happens when I turn on all these guys? You can look at them, and it's kind of cool because now we have ourselves a desk. Look at that. In just that little amount of time, we that was easy, desk, right? It was easy, but you'll notice something that's kind of weird here. Like, ugh, what happened? It didn't go all the way to the back. See, because we just said we said extrude and it extruded from here. And it went the depth just like these guys, but it didn't. We want it to go over the back also. Okay, so I'm going to say okay. this is a tricky thing. Um, I'm going to say edit the feature, and now we got the profile plane going right, but we want it to go two sides, and one so side is going to go the distance depth. The other side is going to go the distance ply. Okay, got it. Okay, so got a new body. And you'll see that now you've got that little thing going there. So it's just a, another kind of like handy dandy thing. Fusion super powerful. So now we've got that little thing. And now when we turn off the sketch, you can see that we've got a, a pop that sits on, on the back, right? It's kind of cool, right? So easy. I like that. Okay, so now we've got your basic desk, super easy desk. However, one of the things that we realize is you don't actually want, and this is just for giggles now, this is not what you're going to do, but I'm just showing you, we don't actually want these sides to be square. Like that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the right side and click on it, and then I'm going to say I want to create a new sketch. And this sketch, we're going to call it side, but I'm going to make a funky thing here I'm going to create a spline. No, you know what? I'm not going to create a spline. I am going to create, a, I'm going to do a line um, because I want you to be able to create something funky if you want. So here we're going to come, we're going to click like this. We're going to go straight down here. Okay, we're at 90 degrees of straight down like this. We're going to come over here. All right. So now, and again, this is not what you actually want to do, but 
um, I just want to show you how um, quickly we can do these things. So now I'm going to do dimension. I'm going to. Uh, what is it? Get dimension. Okay. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say dimension. And then I'm going to go from here to here. Over here. And I'm going to say, I want this. Now, this is that I and then here I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to make sure. You can yell as long as you can focus. No, he's hungry again. Right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something really cool. I'm going to say, um, Extrude, my favorite plan ever. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to go instead of a distance, I'm going to come to the object. And I'm going to go from the right side all the way to the side. Now you see how it's red. Mm -hmm. Now we have a makings of a desk, and I realize, you know what? That's no good because now the top is going to fall down. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right. <laughs> say, edit the sketch. Okay, and I'm going to put a line here, say line. D again, dimension it. We're going to, call, we're going to make this two inches. Okay, and again, all of these, I would make these parameters. Okay, so sketch. Now, come over here and I can say I want to edit the feature. And instead of doing that, I'm going to and look at that now. Whoa, whoa. Okay. That was supported. Okay. Now it's getting better. All right. But you know what? That's still kind of like janky to me. I want something a little bit cooler than that. So now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do something even cooler. I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane. And I am going to create a sketch on the bottom. I'm going to go. Okay, I'm going to say finish the sketch. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call it top. Okay, I'm going to include and click from here. And I'm going to go from the distance. Instead of a distance, I'm going to go say to an object. And you're going to trip when I keep telling you this. I'm going to go to the bottom of that. Okay. So, let's say two. Go to an object. Go to an object. Okay. okay, now we're looking a little bit more like your desk, right? Yeah. Um, it's not quite, that went too far, so I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to say edit the sketch. And I'm going to move this down here. Say finish. So it clears it. So it clears it. Now that, that looks kind of weird, but you know, we can, we can fix that, right? We can do all this. Okay, so now we're looking more like a desk. Right, it's 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 getting there, uh, but I realize you know what I kind of did want this part here, right? Because that's against the wall. We don't need that to be a hole. So I'm gonna come way back here. Right. I'm gonna say edit feature. Nope, cancel. That's the wrong feature. I'm gonna do this. Did you save the sketch that you just did? Um, I did. So rather than go all the way to there. I'm going to say, I'm not going to select that. I'm just going to select this. So the only thing I want to cut is that one. Okay. So, look at that. 
Now we're getting closer. Okay. Okay, we're having a little fun here. We're making mistakes. We're like fixing things. Um, so now, do you like that? You know what? I think we could do a little bit better than that. I think we could do something that would be kind of cool. So let's do this. Let's say edit. You know what? We could do this. So that was the sketch. I'm going to edit the sketch. And come over here. I'm going to put a little art here. I'm going to here. Yeah. Now, like this, say edit feature. I'm gonna add that guy in there. Ah, now we're looking kind of slick, right? So, so yeah. doing all this, this is all you need to do to make your desk. If this was your desk, you could be done right now. And we could live <laughs> with one, two, three, four pieces. But we got all this whole back thing here. I'm, I'm not gonna let you go like that. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna say, I click on it. That's how it turns blue. I click on it. I say, I'm gonna create a new sketch here. I'm gonna do two very quick, I'm gonna say L for line. I'm going to do a line here. I'm going to do a line here. Okay. And then dimension, that should be here to here. So I'm going to make this eight. This is from here to here. I'm going to make this four. Okay. I'm going to say finish the sketch. And I'm going to say extrude. I'm going to just get rid of that guy. And so I'm going to say, I'm going to go set a distance. I'm going to go two objects. I'm going to flip the ring on that end of that guy. I'm going to say, okay. And now, now we're looking at a desk. Now it looks like, right. no, then we're getting, we're getting close there. And what did this take us? I think it took us seven minutes. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to save this to, for you. I'm going to share this actual uh, fusion file with you so you can play it. Um, let me let me show you how to do this, by the way. You can go like this. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go 21. We're going to say new folder. We're going to call it Mianta. Okay, we're going to go inside Mianta. We're going to say desk. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I was just thinking that. Okay, we're gonna say even better. Zero, four, 12, 21. There we go. All right, we're gonna save it. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to do like this. And watch this, this is kind of cool. We're gonna click in 2021. We're gonna go inside the Mianta folder, and then I'm going to click here. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say, whoa, share the public link. Watch this. Okay, I'm going to share the latest version. I'm going to allow it to be downloaded. I'm going to copy it. And now I'm just going to copy and paste it into a to you so that you can now download this thing. Boom. Hold on a second. Yes. Zero, four, 12, 21. I'm going to say Mianta. We're going to say uh, desk 041221. I just sent that to you. Okay. And so now you can have this, but I want to show you something that's really fun. So you can click on this guy and then right click. And you could say roll history. Oh, shoot. You can't see this. I bet you. Um, how do I do this? I don't know what I can show you. So there's a there's an option down here that you unfortunately can't see because it's out of the screen. Um, hold on a second. Hold on. And hide others. Hide others. Okay. Fusion. I'm gonna say stop share. Hold on a second. Um, um, okay. So I'm gonna share the screen. I'm going to share the whole desktop. Okay, this will, this will work. Okay, so now 
if I come over here, I can right click on this. And can you see this now? Can you see where it says roll? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I say roll history marker to here, oh, what happened to our desk? Oh my goodness, we lost everything. Okay, well, then I can just do this. This is like a play button. I can move forward. I can move forward. I can step forward again. I can step forward again and again and again and again and again and again. And then we're out the end. But I could also just go like this and I could just say, I want to, I can drag it back here. I can roll the history marker back here. Sometimes it doesn't work. I can actually just play it and I can go like that and it'll just play from the beginning. And, hey, why didn't it play? What? Oh, you know what? If I go, sorry, to the end. So if I go to the end and then I hit play, it'll just play one step at a time, a little animation. So you can see how it all works. Isn't that cool? So now that is dope. We're going to be able to download this by that link that I sent you in the email. You're going to download it. Okay. And then you're going to be able to do exactly the same thing that I did. You're going to be able to open all of my different things. You're going to say here, I'm going to say, you could do this. If this was you, you'd be at the very end. You'd be like, you know what? I want to roll the history marker back to here. Now we roll it back. We could say, oh, I want to edit this sketch. And now we've got the sketch there to edit. We want to finish that. Okay. Now we want to step forward a little bit, but you know what? I want to come over here and I just want to edit this feature. Okay, so now I'm looking, I got fly, I got depth. Oh, wow, I didn't understand that before. Now I understand it. Okay, now we can go forward. We could go here. And then, you know what? We're like all the way at the end here. And then we're like, yeah, you know what though? It doesn't really look right. And I don't like the way that side looks. So instead of having it be like this, I'm going to get rid of that guy. And instead, I'm going to make a little spline because I like to play with things. And so I'm going to go like this. <laughs> and I'm going to click there. And I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to click there. And now that's better. I think that's a better thing. And now I'm going to say finish the sketch. And now look at that. Now we've got a back that looks like, oh, what is going on? It's crazy town. All right. So the I like that. You can do absolutely anything. I think you can even do this. Watch this. I'm going to say, see up here how you can undo finish sketch. I'm going to undo, mm -hmm. undo delete. I'm going to do undo all the way to here. Now, look, we got back to the original because I'd messed up or maybe I didn't mess up. Maybe I actually like it. I want to go all the way to the end. So I think you can do exactly what I just did. Go have I think I can. <laughs> okay. right. I just have one question. Wait, in addition to Would that, I save? Also, I'm also going to send you the recording of Zoom. So please do. Okay. <laughs> but I have one question when I